Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the awesomeness that is Discord to go along with my post on Aconite Cafe. If you haven't read the post yet, I will leave a link in the description of this video. Make sure to check it out. I added a lot of good ideas for servers and channels for readers, writers, and book lovers. So let's jump in. So as I said in the post, our servers are just starting out and most of my experience on Discord is through the Dragon School server. So once you join one of our servers, you will first come to the Rules and Resource channel, which is really just a quick overview to introduce you to our Discord and kind of how it operates. If you want to create your own server, you're going to go to the plus sign on the left hand bar. This is on the computer app, by the way and it will walk you through creating your server. Once you hit create, it will be added over to this left-hand bar. After you create your server, um, it's good to start with creating roles if you're going to have role-restricted channels because to create those role-restricted channels, it's easier to um, have the roles in place because it asks you those questions during channel creation. So you'll hit this drop-down arrow next to the server name and go to server settings, then roles. There you'll be able to hit the plus sign next to roles and create whichever roles you want, change their colors, and change how they are displayed on the screen when they're online and all of the other permissions. You can pretty much give people as much or as little permissions as you want, which I think is super awesome. So once you create the roles, you'll next want to create the categories and you'll again go to the drop down menu and hit create category. You can also hit create channel from here or hit the plus sign next to the category to create the channel that you're wanting to, uh, it to be under. So to create a channel, you'll hit the plus sign and you can either do a text channel or a voice channel. After you name it, it'll ask if you want it to be private or not, and this is where you'll be able to restrict who can see this channel. So if somebody has a restriction on them to where they can't see a channel, these locks on here are showing you that they are the restricted channels. The people who aren't able to see them won't even know they exist. They don't even see this section at all if they aren't a a member of the role that can see this section. So after you create all of your channels, if you want to create pinned posts, any post can be pinned to the top and then you just hit these three little dots next to the post and it'll ask you if you want to pin it. So as a user, no matter how much conversation is going on within a channel, they can always come up here to this little pin and it will show them any post that has been pinned to the top. So a few cool things about Discord, if you type in the hashtag, you can tag any channel, and then using the at symbol, you can not only tag a person, but you can also tag everyone. So then it will notify anybody that is a member of the server, or you can tag a role, and it'll notify all of the people under that role. The other thing you can do is customize your notifications. You can turn them off and on up here, and this can turn them off and on for a specific channel, or you can go into the drop-down menu and notifications settings, and you can mute the whole server or specific parts, which I think is completely awesome. So if you only wanna be notified for posts that are on one channel, then you're able to set that up here. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section and I'll try and answer them. Definitely not a Discord expert yet, but it is one of my favorite discoveries as of yet regarding social media. And I definitely think that it is going to change the indie writer community. If you're an author, I totally think that you should start creating your Discord server and getting your fans over there. You can also customize your nickname for each server that you're a part of by going to the drop down menu for the server and hitting change nickname. You can also change your profile picture and other user settings by hitting the user settings here down here in the bottom of the screen. 
So Discord offers a phone app and a computer app, and then you can also just go to the website. I usually use the computer versions because I'm much more of a keyboard typer than a phone typer. If you found this video to be helpful, please like that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.